Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bronwyn and I am a skincare specialist with a career experience of eight years plus now. I'm starting to say that in the title of my skincare videos because I've realized that I've been a technical career level skincare specialist with actual experience on my resume, like this is who I am. And for some reason, I have never justified that in my skincare videos, so yes, Welcome, hi, nice to meet you. I am a technical skincare specialist. That, that being said, I am not a dermatologist. I am not a esthetician, medical esthetician, but I am someone with trained experience in actual skincare and giving recommendations for actual career level jobs in giving skincare advice. So that is me, yay. And if you're not already following me on my Instagram account, make sure you check that out. I upload there almost every single day and I also post daily stories there. And also find me live streaming every single day on Twitch where I just hang out with my viewers, chat, have fun and play some Animal Crossing and stuff like that. So check me out there. And of course, subscribe by hitting that subscribe button with the notification bell or else YouTube will not be so kind to share with you guys when I I upload new videos and pardon the light is blinding me right now I'm gonna try my best not to squint a bunch anyway the Sun is shining really bright in my eyes I'm gonna try hard to maintain solid eye contact with you guys if I'm a little bit squinty sorry about that but deal with it anyway in today's video I want to share with you guys a my top SPF slash screens that I have been using so far throughout this summer season that I think are really great and you should definitely consider trying them out if you're not already using an SPF or if you haven't found one that you totally are in love with yet. Now, how I use my SPF is I always, always, always make sure to use it as my day cream alternative. In the winter season, I'm gonna admit I am guilty of not wearing SPF every single day just because I, I don't know why I have this, it's like, ingrained into me to believe that because it's the winter season the uv rays aren't there whatsoever but they do still exist especially if you're in a snowy climate those uv rays reflect back up into your skin and are magnified significantly that's why you see skiers and snowboarders and they literally get sunburns on their face around their goggles so i am guilty of not wearing spf throughout this winter season but in the summer season I wear it pretty consistently basically every single day throughout the summer season you bet I have SPF on in replacement of my day cream and with that being said I have four SPFs in front of me that are absolutely perfect for my skin type depending on what kind of condition it currently is in now my skin type if you're not already aware is dry dehydrated combination sensitive so that's a lot going on there, but everyone's skin is unique and everyone's skin can be different and not one skin type is going to define your skin in its entirety. With that being said, my skin can either be really, really dry, especially in the winter season. In the summer season, it tends to be a little more on the dehydrated side and not as dry as it is in the winter time. While throughout the entire year, it's combination. So even though I am dry and dehydrated, I still always get oily in my T-zone no matter what time of year it is no matter where I am in my cycle that's just how it is and I also have sensitive skin that used to be acne prone so a lot of my earlier skincare videos from like years and years ago were always revolving around acne prone sensitive skin but I'm not really acne prone anymore thank the lord I can say that but these are the four SPFs that really really work for me throughout this summer season and previous summer seasons the first one is a holy grail SPF this is the Biore UV aqua rich watery essence if you're not already familiar with this SPF here this is a Japanese brand of the Biore brand or company you could say it is their Japanese version of skincare and I wish to god that they would have Biore SPFs in Canada like Japanese SPFs they are so good I have yet to find 
a Western SPF that I like, which is why you're not gonna see any in this video. This one is really great if you're someone with an oily skin type or if you want more of a mattifying appearance on your face. This SPF has a really watery consistency just as the name indicates. It goes on so smoothly, it just kind of melts and absorbs so evenly and quickly into the skin, but it still keeps you protected throughout the day. It is a very, very lightweight. It's not gonna clog your pores. It sits beautifully under makeup and it gives you a mattifying appearance, unless of course you're putting it over top of a ton of different additional skincare products, then you're still gonna feel like it doesn't really do any mattifying effect. But if you're younger and just using SPF on its own, you are gonna get a mattifying effect from using this. I have been using this Biore SPF for years, not this, this singular product in particular, I've probably been repurchased by me at least four times over the past few years. I love it, it is a holy grail, it's a staple to just throw on whenever I need some quick SPF. That's just gonna work, you know? Plus, it doesn't break me out or cause me any kind of irritations. With that being said though, everyone's skin is different and what works for other people might not work for you, so always be careful when trying out new products. Second SPF I'm going to mention is one that I'm more familiar with compared to the last two that I'm going to mention, and that is the Claire's Soft Airy UV Essence. Now this one I have been using for the past two years, two and a half, three, three years now, and I gotta say it's definitely one for those with more of the dehydrated dry skin types. If you have oily skin, you're probably not going to like this as it does mimic more of a lotion and a cream rather than that of a gel or watery essence like the previous SPF that I mentioned. This SPF is super smooth, glides on softly over the skin just as the name indicates in the product title and it doesn't break me out. It has a doesn't have any fragrance to it that I can smell. Well, the previous Biore one does have a somewhat scent to it, but that has never caused me irritation in the past. This one is loaded with a lot of wonderful ingredients that act as a day cream. So unlike the Biore watery essence that is just a staple SPF and that's it, this Claire's one actually has properties in there that are going to not only protect your skin from the UV rays, but it's also gonna give you additional skincare benefits such as brightening the skin, evening out the skin tone, adding nourishing ingredients in there, hydrating factors as well, while also delivering a high SPF of 50 PA plus, 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 broad spectrum protection. The thing I do like about this SPF is it blends beautifully with foundation. And for me in the summer season, I generally don't really wear foundations anymore. What I like to do is I like to take half a pump of my foundation into my SPF that I am applying to my skin during that day to give it a little bit of a tint. And that works fine for me. This SPF blends beautifully when I do that and all my makeup sits lovely over top of it. The only thing that I did notice with this SPF is that it can easily be over applied and what I mean when I say that is that it's easy to apply too much of this product and when you're moving it on your skin at some point it kind of crumbs but that just means you applied a little too much. Next SPF I'm going to mention is one that I started using just this summer season and I immediately fell in love with it. Now just bear in mind what I am going to show you is the older packaging. Unfortunately, like literally just after I purchased this product, they came out with new packaging and I'm like, of course, this always happens to me. This is the Coser X Shield Fit Snail Essence Sun SPF 50 PA++. We only got three pluses on this one. But similar to the previous SPF that I mentioned, the Claire's one, this one is also designed for people with more drier and dehydrated skin types. It's more of a lotion type consistency rather than a watery essence type consistency, making it ideal if you tend to have more dehydrated skin throughout the entire season and year. Now, this one isn't as large of a packaging as the Claire's one, which I do kind of find unfortunate as you can see the size comparison is quite significant with this one running at 2.7 fluid ounces and the snail fit one running at 0.18. So you get quite a significant increase in the previous product compared to this one. And I have to be honest, I do feel like the consistency and formulation of the two are really on par to each other. The only difference is that this one is a snail based product and you do get that snail texture consistency in it. Now, if you're not familiar with snail products, the texture is 
kind of like um like it's not a gel it's kind of like a more runny consistency but it still has that elasticity to it so for example if i was moving it in between my hands you would get a little bit of a stringiness but it's still really lightweight on the skin i find it this shield fit spf is more of a hydrating nourishing lotion type spf while the claire's one is more of a nourishing lotion spf type so if you have more of a dehydrated combination skin type this would be an SPF to consider. It's super lightweight, doesn't clog my pores, but still leaves me feeling moisturized and hydrated and nourished enough throughout the day to the point where I don't need to have too many skincare products on underneath to feel like I have enough to keep my skin feeling healthy throughout the day. It also has nice antioxidants in there and a dual spectrum of protection to keep you healthy. If you're not familiar with snail products, there's some that I love and swear by. They are going to help nourish and strengthen your skin and make sure that you fight against aging and wrinkles as snail mucin in products helps to stimulate overall cell recovery and repair making your skin stronger healthier overall final spf that i'm going to mention for you guys is also another new one that i only started using this year and only learned about this year especially the brands this is the vt cosmetics sika hylon essence sun spf 50 plus pa plus 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 we have four pluses on the pa side of this spf now why i love this one is because it is super lightweight but it still has a moisturizing and nourishing benefit to it with hydration now unlike the biore one which is a similar consistency this one is more lightweight. This one's super ideal if you have an oily skin type. Well, this one I say would be ideal if you have either an oily skin type or just a normal skin type, to be honest. I have dry, dehydrated skin, and I still love using this on days where my skin just isn't that thirsty. Or if I'm seeking more of a mattifying, less shiny, glistening, dewy effect on my skin, which isn't too common. Then I found I loved using this one. The one thing I'm not too big on it is it has a really strong fragrance, which I notice is pretty consistent throughout the VT Cosmetics line. It's like a, it's a very like fresh lemony powdery scent, but fortunately for me, none of the VT Cosmetics fragrances have upset my skin, which is shocking because I used to be really, really sensitive when it came to fragrances and skincare products. But fortunately, this brand has not upset my skin once with any of the products that I use. This SPF doesn't leave a white cast either. Out of all the SPFs that I list off for you, every single product does not leave a white cast on my skin, which is so, 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 so important for me. I hate when SPFs leave a white cast. I, it just looks ridiculous. If you have the slightest bit of a tan, it doesn't work at all. When it comes to the actual benefits in skincare with this SPF, I don't really believe there is that much. I can double check on that for you guys. But from what I remember, this is just generally a very basic run of the mill SPF with a little bit of added benefits in there, such as nourishing, hydrating, and a little bit of whitening in there as well, which you'll find mostly consistent throughout all Korean SPFs. For you guys, those are the four SPFs that I have been absolutely in love with over the past few years. Like I said in the beginning of this video, I have yet to find a Western Western brand SPF that I love. Now, I remember back in the day when I was younger, before I had access to the wonderful world of Korean and Japanese cosmetics, I used to love the Aveeno SPF. It's like the one for people with sensitive skin and it's basically just a mineral SPF for the face. It does leave a strong white cast, but that was the only one back in the day, like years and years ago, that worked on my skin that didn't break me out. Now, I've also used like years and years ago, the Neutrogena SPFs and all the ones that you can find in most staple stores here in Canada. Um, but they always like broke me out. They literally felt like you had a thick layer of something over your skin. Um, there was an SPF that I used recently by Ren Skincare that I was hoping I would love this summer season, but I absolutely hated it. I felt like I was wearing a plaster mask over my face. So what can I say? I don't know, you guys. Korean and Japanese cosmetics, just no SPF. Like if you're looking for an SPF that you can substitute as your day cream throughout the summer season or all year round, definitely look into Korean and Japanese ones, especially the ones that I mentioned here for you guys. I absolutely love them. And 
please let me know in the comment section down below if there are any SPFs that you love that I did not mention in this video that you think I should try out and would enjoy. I would love to get your guys' recommendations. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. All the SPFs I talked about will be linked in the description box down below, so do check them out. And I will see you guys next time. And remember to hit that subscribe button. Bye. Bye.